I, I just thought to myself last night, I, I wanted to write it down. And I really thought that this is what they've done, and they've done it really, really well. They wanted to introduce caps. They actually opened all the jails between the 25th and the 28th of Jan. Just to let all the prisoners and the criminals to come out so people will feel, oh my God, we need to do something about us. Uh, we, maybe we should go back home. And they, they wanted to prevent people from going to Tower Square regardless. And that was one of the, the things they've done. Uh, and then introduced religious intolerance, um, uh, which has led to a lot of uh, killing and injuries. And just they wanted to, to distract people from the revolution uh, with any sort of system. Scare tactic. A lot of uh, our media started to talk about, oh my god, we're going bankrupt and Egypt is no longer cash flow and we need the, the, the wheel of, um, of the economy. We need to go back to work and we can't go and demonstrate. Obviously, that was all uh, yes. Um, division of Egypt. A lot of people said, oh, this is actually a foreign agenda. They wanted a Coptic uh, country in Egypt. So Egypt has about 10 to 12 percent uh, Christians, mostly Orthodox. And so they were basically told, yeah, no, no, it's a Coptic country, a Bedouin one in Sinai, and a uh, Muslim one. And obviously, that's all rubbish because Egyptians, uh, and that, that will be demonstrated later on in the entire square where. Christians and Muslims were protecting each other in prayers um, uh, during the revolution, which was fantastic. Another tactic, oh, the revolution is succeeded. Mubarak is, is absent. What, what are you doing here now? Uh, obviously, we realized that it was just the head of the regime, the regime is still there, a lot of corrupt uh, officials still there, but they're not going to leave the square until the job is done. Discrediting all their kind of revolutionary figures, Al Baradi, you know, the Nobel Prize winner, uh, we were told that he was an agent of the U.S. and Israel. Um, uh, Wild Bunayn, uh, the Google uh, official who helped uh, starting the revolution, um, was some ignorant uh, people there. Obviously, started to spread a rumor that he's a, a Masonic and uh, it's, a, it's a part of an empire. It all started, and, uh, which is to do with the pyramids, obviously, and. Uh, which is on the dollar, American dollar. Uh, there's a lot of things going that way, to trying to distress everybody who started or helped the revolution to go forward. Uh, invisible third party. Lots of thugs have been hired. Obviously, they realized that they cannot use police officers to, uh, to kill and use guns, so they started to, um, to use thugs and to actually, uh, there's about 160,000 Egyptian criminals that were let out of prisons and that were used on a daily basis to suppress Egyptians. Right, how to counter the counter-revolution. Um, uh, civil defense forces uh, around the revolution time, uh, on the 28th of January in particular, uh, the police force completely were going to disappear for a number of days and all Egyptians have started to have uh, almost civil def defense form formations, the na neighbor good uh, watch and They've actually protected themselves for weeks, and I think we can do that again. We need to. We need to rely on factual financial figures. Egypt is one of the richest countries in the world. We're convinced of that. We've got huge mine, uh, mines and gold, and uh, got so much money flowing in. It's just been stolen for a number of years, and we need to, to understand this. Um, just the head of the regime has been moved, removed. Uh, we need to continue our revolution. Um, Again, another thing, Israel and the U.S. have started the whole thing. That is not true. Uh, Mubarak was a huge ally in the Middle East for the U.S. and, and Israel, and they pretty much set the same goal, so uh, try to play another game, please. Um, we will continue to use the social media and uh, use Facebook and Twitter to explain and educate to Egyptians who have been misled at some stage of the revolution so they can lose belief in the revolution. And we will show them beyond doubt that there is no other way of continuing our efforts, otherwise half revolutions can cause killing and massacre of people. So we will continue until we succeed. So we're going to be in Tower Square very soon, so please watch out for us. And thank you so much for your time.